Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I was inspired to do a little bit of a spring cleanup slash organization of the shelf in my bedroom and I wanted to choose a few spring perfumes to put on my tray. I have been really getting into the spring spirit lately because it is finally nice weather. We are finally out of winter. I don't know if it's officially spring yet but we are having weather in the double digits and it's really nice and yeah I'm just in the mood to get out some really nice spring perfumes. So if this is your first time on my channel thank you so much for stopping by. My name is Alithia and on this channel we do usually talk about perfume. We also talk about home decor, minimalism, decluttering, a little bit of luxury goods, try on hauls, fashion, things like that. Basically whatever relaxing stuff I feel like talking about. If that is something that you think you would be interested in I would love if you would head on down and subscribe. Feel free to head on over and follow me on Instagram and with that out of the way let's get started with my shelf. <music> So the very first thing that I'm going to do is make myself a cup of coffee. Drinking coffee and organizing and cleaning are probably my favorite things to do on my days off. I never get tired of organizing and making things look better, decorating things. It's just something I really love to do on my days off. So this is the shelf that I have in my bedroom and this is a very basic five tiered shelf that I got from Walmart. People always ask me where it's from but it's really nothing special. It was really affordable and I will try to link one just like it or this exact one down below for you guys. But this is just where I keep a few things like my handbags, a couple of flowers, things that I like to have on display that are really beautiful and of course I also have a perfume tray and I usually don't keep perfumes out on the tray because as I've told you guys I do like to keep my perfumes protected from heat and light but sometimes I get inspired to bring out a couple of perfumes and put them on the tray just so that they are within reach and I'm thinking about them especially when the seasons change I always get motivated to put a few perfumes on my tray one day I hope to be the type of woman who has just a simple perfume tray on her dresser that holds no more than you know 10 to 15 perfumes and those are like my go-to all the time every time perfumes but I don't really know if that's in the cards for me anytime soon because I'm kind of obsessed with perfume and I buy a lot of perfume. <laughs> but anyways, the first thing that I'm going to do is remove everything from the shelf and give it a good clean. We are going to get rid of all the dust bunnies and we are going to shine things up and make everything look fresh and clean just in time for spring. So the cleaner that I'm using right now is from Method I believe and it is the grapefruit scented one. As many of you guys know I usually use vinegar and water but my vinegar and water bottle broke a little while ago so I took that as a sign that maybe I should try some new cleaners and I've been using this one and you know this one is actually really nice. It doesn't smell too harsh or like toxic chemicals which I really like. That's my biggest motivator for using vinegar and water. Um, and I do like that it gets everything nice and clean. I don't know about you guys, but I find cleaning so therapeutic. I love the end product, the end result, but I also just love the act of cleaning. I don't know when this happened, but somewhere along the line, I became a very domestic homebody who loves to clean and organize. I also love decluttering, and I do need to come up with some better storage solutions in my closet and ways to display my handbags and things like that. So let me know if that's something you guys would be interested in. I'm definitely going to be spending some extra time with my closet over the next couple of months. I'm also going to go ahead and give everything that was on the shelf a nice dusting. I don't think I've dusted these flowers or these books for months, probably not since last summer, so they definitely need it.
now that my shelf is all nice and clean, I'm gonna go ahead and put everything back on the shelf in exactly the same place that I was in. So on the very bottom of the shelf, I just have this shopping bag from Chloe, and this came with a pair of shoes that I bought last year when I was on vacation. And I just really love the bag. I couldn't part with it. It's so pretty. I just really like the aesthetic, and I love that it has this cute little fabric bow on it. And this is the perfect size bag to hold a bunch of my perfumes that are backup perfumes. So I do have that on the bottom. On the shelf above that, I just have a couple of SLGs as well as a little bouquet of flowers that was sent to me from Rose Forever and they are just a really pretty little addition to my room. On the shelf above that I like to display a handbag and right now I just have my beige Chanel classic flap and I think it's really beautiful but I don't like to leave it out too much because it's exposed to the elements a little bit but right now that is the bag that's out and I also have just this little marble kind of catch-all tray that I saw it on Amazon I thought it was really cute and then after I got it here I realized I didn't really have anything to put in it <laughs> so it's sitting on the shelf and looking pretty and I'm sure I'll probably move it at some point and put it someplace more useful on the fourth shelf of course I do have the acrylic perfume tray and besides that I just have a couple of coffee table books and a really cute little geometric design that I got from HomeSense. And on the top shelf I do have a little bouquet or vase of flowers that I also got from HomeSense and they're just a really beautiful sort of a pink and white floral combination and I think they're really gorgeous and then I also have a terrarium which doesn't have anything in it I just really like the simple look of the clean geometric gold lines I think it adds some balance and a nice little touch of warmth to my room which is otherwise quite cool toned and now it's time to choose our perfumes. So the first one that came to mind was Mon Peri. This is the Eau de Toilette. This is a beautiful sort of a fresh, a um, little bit citrusy in the opening, sort of a berry peony scent. But this one is not nearly as strawberry heavy as the original Mon Peri Eau de Parfum. That one is a little bit too sweet for me and a little bit too much berry. This one is like the perfect combination of sweet and berries meets floral and it's not too much and it's very fresh and this actually reminds me a lot of the original Miss Dior Cherie um, so if you're looking for something similar to the original Miss Dior Cherie definitely do check out the Mon Perio de Toilette the second one is none other than Chanel Chance Eau Tendre. Now this is a fresh, beautiful, sort of a yellow fruit, powdery, musky scent, and I think everybody knows what this smells like. And it's absolutely stunning, and I have been waiting for the warmer weather to take this one out because it does not feel like a wintertime appropriate perfume to me. So I'm super happy that with these slightly warmer numbers that we're seeing, I can finally start to wear this one on a more regular day-to-day -day basis. So this one is definitely going on the tray. The next one is Gabrielle Essence from Chanel and I absolutely love this scent you guys. If you follow my channel already you know. And this is a beautiful sort of a white floral, yellow floral, powdery, citrusy, musky. It just has a little bit of everything but it has that quintessential Chanel undertone. Very classy, very sophisticated but at the same time it has a lightness and a fruitiness and it's just gorgeous you guys. I am a huge Chanel perfume lover. I feel like Chanel can do no wrong and I always feel like a million bucks when I wear this perfume. The next one is a newer one to my collection that was sent to me complimentary from Michael Malul and this is called Citizen Jill. This is such a beautiful, fresh, vanillic, interesting perfume. It's really unique because it does have a freshness and a fruitiness. It has citron and pears and bergamot. It also has a couple of floral notes and then it's also very heavy in vanilla and amber so it's very unique and very pretty and very fresh. And this one reminds me sort of of a cross between Chloe Nomad meets Lancome Idole, something like that, except it's a little bit deeper and kind of woodier in the base. It's a very like carefree, light, pretty, happy-go-lucky, citrusy, fresh scent, and it is perfect for the spring. You can see I already have a little bit of a dent in this bottle. I have been wearing this pretty much all week, and I have been really, really enjoying it. So definitely recommend to check out Citizen Jill if you guys have not. The next one is Delina from Parfum de Marly, and again, this one for me is very spring and summer centric. It's not something I feel like I can wear in the winter. It's a beautiful, kind of a tart, sweet, musky rose with a little bit of incense and some woody notes and a little bit of vanilla in there as well. It's just an absolutely stunning feminine rose scent, and it really screams spring and summer to me, so I cannot wait to wear this one. 
so this one is definitely going on my tray. The next one is one I have been dying to wear since I purchased it, but I got it toward the end of summer and then it was winter and it just didn't seem appropriate for any of the seasons. And this is a trap rev from Louis Vuitton. Absolutely stunning, sort of a fruity floral patchouli scent, but it is a little bit different. It has a little bit of cacao in there and that gives it like this depth and this powderiness and it's just so gorgeous. And the opening also has lychee, which makes it sort of tart. So it's this very like tart, fruity, sweet, feminine, floral, peony, absolutely stunning, so classy. But then it has this touch of cacao, which gives it this interesting spin, this little bit of a depth and sweetness and powderiness. And I just love it, you guys. And I cannot recommend a Trap Rev enough. The second last one that I initially picked was Chanel Chance Eau de Toilette. Now you guys know this has been a favorite of mine for such a long time. This is a fresh sort of fruity, pink peppery, patchouli, powdery scent. It is quintessentially Chanel. It has that kind of uh, very sophisticated Chanel undertone. It also smells a little bit cologne-y. After I sprayed all of these perfumes in my bedroom and I walked back in, the one that stood out the most that I could smell the most was definitely the Chanel Chance Eau de Toilette because it has this like slightly masculine undertone. It reminds me a lot of Blue de Chanel and it smelled like there had been a man in my room <laughs> spraying cologne, but I'm not mad at it because it makes that perfume so sexy. It's very like fruity and fresh, but it's also got this underlying sexy tone to it and it's just so good and I cannot wait to wear that one for the summertime. And the last one that I initially picked was Givenchy Live Irresistible. Now, I don't know if this one has been discontinued. Let me know, you guys, because they do have new irresistible perfumes from Givenchy, and I wonder if they're not going to phase them out. But this one I picked up sort of on a whim the other day. We finally had some nice weather. I went into my local store, and I just wanted something fruity and fun and playful and bright and I wanted something I could wear to the gym. I wanted something that wasn't too heavy. You guys, this one is also gorgeous. So this has actually a couple of very fruity notes that I normally would not wear. I believe that there is either papaya or passion fruit and there's also pineapple. So when you first spray this, it's very fruity, but then it does become a little bit more of that classic floral fragrance for women for summertime. But there's also cacao in this one too. So this one does dry down to a little bit sweeter and a little bit warmer and very feminine and it has a powdery touch to it it's just very pretty and it's unlike anything else I have in my collection it actually reminds me a little bit of a trap rev if you like those kind of fruity floral perfumes with a twist with something a little sweeter in them I think that you would really like the live irresistible but you do have to like something fruity if you don't like fruity scents you will not like this one so it's definitely one of the fruitier ones that I currently have in my collection so those were the perfumes I initially put on the tray, but then I thought when I was looking at it that it looked a little bit bare on the bottom. And the really cool thing about this shelf is you can actually pull out the bottom plastic tier and make it another layer in the shelf. And that is what I did. I pulled out the bottom one and gave myself sort of an extra shelf to put perfumes. And I did add a couple of more perfumes. So I added Miss Dior, C Fiori, and Coco Mademoiselle. So that is really it. That is the finished product. Those are all the spring perfumes that I'm really looking forward to wearing. Truth be told, it's probably still a lot more than anybody really needs. And like I say, I would really love if this tray was filled with all of my perfumes and I had like my date night perfumes, my sort of quote unquote office perfumes, um, and just all of my other everyday perfumes on this tray. Maybe one day I'll do that, but I think that it looks really pretty like this and it's all ready to go for the next couple of months. So that's really it today, you guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed coming with me and spending the day with me and cleaning my shelf with me. I hope that it gave you a little bit of inspiration to either tidy or declutter or organize or maybe choose a few new spring perfumes for yourself to put out on your tray. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all very soon in my next video. We're chasing the